Good morning, Trinity Baptist Church. Uh, one of the things I often think about in, in, in times of turmoil, especially turmoil for our country, is how we as Christians um, sometimes underestimate how helpful it is that we have this doctrine of sin. Um, the world generally does not like to think in terms of sin, that uh, all have sinned that all have uh, sinned against God and that uh, our hope is that God himself through Jesus Christ uh, saves and forgives and restores us. It's a really complex and rich and true and timely idea. Uh, if you don't believe in sin, then it's hard to know what to do when you see things wrong in the world. Your world you either have to fix it or your world is at risk of falling apart. Um, for us as Christians, the world fell apart in Genesis 3. And we know the one who is putting it back together. We know that our Lord Jesus has conquered sin and is vanquishing sin, including sin in us. And, and just knowing this, we're much more equipped to see things that are sin, even in ourselves, and respond with grief, respond with lament, respond with repentance, respond with hope. Um, so don't forget how useful it is, how helpful it is, that we understand at least some of sin, thanks to God's word. And we, uh, we process it in, in the hope of the glory of God. I'd like to go to Romans 8 today, one of my favorite chapters, to this paragraph right in the middle that reminds us where we are and when we are and, and, and how all this fits in what God has been doing and will do. This is Romans 8, uh, verses 18 through 23. It says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies, for in this hope you were saved. I encourage you to carry that with you today, Trinity. In this hope we were saved. Praise God.